So this uh, PPT file is basically <laughs> the same PPT file I used for the standard three hours training for fluid flow. So it's been two years we are associated with uh, flight software. So flight software is the developer of fluid flow software. And um, in last two years, I have trained more than 1,500 uh, participants in uh, fluid flow. And uh, for them, I use this uh, PPT file. So many things will not be applicable for us. So CEPL, so that marketing I can skip for now. Yes, so fluid flow overview. So as I said, flight software is the developer. And this is quite old company. In 1984, they started. At present, they have got more than, I um, mean, uh, the clients, customers in more than 68 countries. I personally used several hydraulic simulators. Okay, so PipeNet is there, Bentley Water Gens, Bentley Hammer. And I found fluid flow is the most comprehensive. It's, it is easy to learn and easy to uh, analyze. Okay, so both are very important. And fluid flow has done very good thing in those in both the departments, okay, learning and as well as analysis part. It has got uh, intelligent and easy to use graphical interface so that you will have very good word file, simulation file. And it follows the international standards like ISO and API. So if you have any control wall, so it will use what standard? Chirak? IIC, control ISS and CIS 75.01.01. Very good. And if you if it does say orifice sizing, then what standard it will use? ISO 5167-2. Very good. Right, it has got total five modules. Fluid for liquid, then gas, two-phase, non-Newtonian and slurry, and then scripting. Liquid means, as the name suggests, if you have any uh, cooling water system or fire water system network sizing, then you will use this module, fluid flow liquid. If it is a compressible, uh, compressed gas or compressed air supply system, then you will use fluid flow gas module. If you have two phase system, like say oil coming out from the well, it has got oil and gas. So for doing the pressure of calculation, you can use fluid flow two phase module. If your uh, fluid is uh, set paste, non Newtonian, or if it is slurry, like say sand and water, so those kind of uh, hydraulic simulation that you can do using fluid flow, non Newtonian and slurry module. If you want to know how much time it will take to fill the tank or empty out the tank, so such simple dynamic analysis can be done using scripting module, right? So before we proceed, I need to ask, uh, what is the difference between process simulator and hydraulic simulator? Yes, Tarun, what do you think? Process simulator and hydraulic simulator? Sir, I think uh, hydraulic simulators are only limited to the calculation which is associated with piping network or uh, mm -hmm. uh, fluid flow to phase or uh, multi-phase. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, process simulator, they can they have no limit. They can go up to any unit operation and unit process they can simulate. Correct. So if I want to do the distillation column sizing, I cannot use hydraulic simulator. That is only for pressure of calculation. Right? So if you uh, if you have some say um, uh, say cooling water uh, supply system, this network simulation to be done. So can you use HISIS for that? The system is your tank is there, cooling water uh, tank is there, then pump cooling water supply pumps, and that header goes to <clears throat> say and <clears throat> different uh, heat exchangers all over the plant, right? And the temperature will get increase of cooling water and this cooling water will get connected in uh, cooling water return header and it will go back to the cooling tower top. In cooling tower, the temperature drop will be there from say 40 degrees to 30 degrees for the cooling water. And again, the same cycle will get continued, right? 
capabilities as i said it can do simulation for liquid gas two phase slurry non attendant good thing about this software is it has got uh, 1250 fluid data already available like say methane ethane okay water so all this common fluid data is available its competitors has uh, less than 10 fluids data available so you need to go to google and find out for given temperature pressure okay, what is the vapor pressure what is the density viscosity and uh, it it has lot of equipment also shell and tv exchanger okay phe back bed so if you want to know what is the delta p across say shell and tv exchanger if our fluid is going through the tube side of shell and tv exchanger so depending upon the tube id tube length number of tube passes it will calculate the pressure drop okay in other software you need to give a reference value like say if the flow rate is 100 meter cube per hour then as per vendor data sheet the delta p would be say 0.5 bar if the flow rate increases delta p will also increase so that kind of manipulation will be there in other softwares but here the accurate number you will get the layouts can be seen in uh, orthogonal or isometric view we can do the okay. calculations also okay so this again a unique feature of this software for other software you don't really get what is the temperature increase or temperature drop right let's say steam pipe is there say 100 meter so with insulation what is the temperature uh, or heat loss uh, to the ambient and with insulation so we can get a better idea what should be the economic uh, insulation thickness right then it also helps us to find out the mistake that we have done in the model right it will give warning that here for this equipment you have done something wrong this is extremely useful feature right if your model is very big and you run into some trouble other software will not help you pinpoint that mistake fluid flow will help you then graphs can be generated in uh, for various properties of the equipment like pump is there so pump per data can be generated the uh, reports can be generated in different format you can import or export data from excel format let's say it's only one tank one pipe and another tank right so you can just click on the pipe and type the length the diameter etc but just imagine that you have got hundreds of lines hundreds of tanks right hundreds of fittings so that data if you keep uh, if you type manually like click on one pipe view the data then go to the next uh, pipe it takes a lot of man hours spent for that activity so there is one feature in uh, fluid flow that you can you can model the uh, uh, you can prepare the model then the blank data you can export in excel file right from excel file you can uh, from your uh, input table you can just copy that data and put it in uh, uh, this uh, exported excel file and you can import that file back to fluid flow so that you don't have to type it right so it says a lot of man hours in one of our project we used um, our fluid flow it has got uh, around 900 something pipes we saved a lot of man hours okay using this particular application in fluid flow then it has got stand alone license it has got network license right it has got perpetual option purchasing option or you can uh, go for yearly lease means every year you need to pay to maintain the license the major clients include worli bsa faker solution then shell is there sabik uses okay, even nasa uses the software in india we have been able to sell this to tata steel in jharia jharkhand in india and in mitsubishi hitachi in bangalore again in india 